Uh, first off, I just want to congratulate uh, Providence College on a on a great season, um, um, a great game, great playoffs. They, they were uh, under undermanned most of the playoffs because of I think COVID, so they had a short bench, and for them to battle like that through through their three games, and um, you know they kept coming at us tonight, and uh, credit to them and Coach Kelly. Who, uh, who had them ready to go in the playoffs and uh, did a great job. I'd also like to thank Hockey East. Um, you know, beginning of this year, we didn't know what was going to happen, if we were actually going to have a season or not. Um, they worked tirelessly, dealt with schedule um, changes throughout the season and, you know, week to week, having to put together a schedule and try to figure out standings and, and to make all this happen is uh, truly remarkable. And, um, you know, I'm appreciative, my, my team's appreciative and, um, you know, big hats off to them for for doing that. As, as far as the game, uh, obviously thrilled with the outcome. And, uh, you know, I thought it was, it was, the score wasn't really indicative of the game. I thought we, uh, you know, we broke it open a little bit there in the third. I think it was more of a fatigue thing for, for Providence. Um, but, you know, I like the way we played. I thought we played hard and, and did a lot of really good things offensively and, um, you know, played played a full 60. So uh, obviously pleased with the outcome. Questions for Coach? Uh, coach, first off, congratulations on a, another ring here. Um, you've got that senior class now that, that hasn't lost a, a Hockey East playoff game, and they all were throwing the fours up on the ice after the game. What was what was it like talking with them after the game and, and congratulating them? Yeah, you know, I, I told them, you know, some people some people never – they go through their whole career and never win one championship. And, um, you know, so winning winning a championship is pretty remarkable. But to, to win four in a row is uh, – usually unheard of and f for them to never have lost a, a hockey's playoff game is a, is a credit to them as um, as people and as, as student athletes and uh, it's been a, a great four years for them obviously coach you know we we talk all the time about the depth that this team has but today especially how much of a boost does that give you in confidence going into the tournament you know only one goal coming from that top group and really spreading the scoring around all night. Yeah, I mean, that's that's what we've been doing most of the year, and that's what we need, uh, you know, going down the stretch here in, into the NCAA's. Um, you know, we're gonna we're gonna face tough opponents, and um, we're gonna need that depth. And I, I think the depth really really showed tonight against uh, you know Providence with a short bench. I think we, we were able to wear them down a little bit, and. Um, you know, it's it's nice having that luxury. So this is a little while ago now, but uh, seeing Katie Sipra get that puck at the, the top of the Providence zone there for your first goal, it, it seemed right away just she had a pretty good chance of scoring there, especially getting you know, the kind of shot that she has. Can you talk a little bit about that that play from her? Yeah, it was great. It was a quick transition in the neutral zone. She got, she got a good head of speed, and uh, the the defenseman got caught outside the dots there, and she got inside and uh, got to the net, and nice nice backhand shot over the shoulder. And you know, I told them, you know, pregame, I said let's let's try to pop one in first five minutes, and I think uh, that was like four minutes and something. So um, it was nice that uh, we responded so quickly. Dave, Dave, it's been so, it, it may seem commonplace to a lot of people that you keep winning these hockey championships, but what does it mean to your players, especially after the hard luck you've had the last couple of years in the postseason? Yeah, I mean, it's obviously, uh, you know, it means a lot to them and, um, you know, it means a lot to me and to be able to, to be able to do it, you know, four times in a row is, is amazing. Now we just got to focus on, um, you know, getting to the NCAAs and, and, and doing some damage there. And um, that's our next goal. So, you know, uh, hockey's championships are nice. Uh, our next goal is, 
is Frozen Four and national championship. And I think we we have the the makings to do it this year. We got a great group and obviously uh, a, a ton of talent. And um, you know we're we're looking forward to that. Coach, how much how much sweeter is it for some of the players coming back? You know, after last year, you guys were in a pretty similar position here and looked looked poised to go pretty deep in the in the NCAA's, but obviously that got shut down. Looking ahead right now, how much nicer is it for some of those players that came back after having that happen to get another chance at it? Yeah, I mean, the nice thing is we we picked up where we left off last year, so we you know we ended strong and. You know, I feel like this year, with all the uncertainty, we we still picked up right where we were, and you know, to go on on a run here and and playing good hockey in the in the postseason, you know, I feel like we're right back where we were last year at this time, and now we're going to have that opportunity to um, play in the NCAA's, which we missed obviously last year. So. Um, it's it's nice that uh, you know the team has stayed focused through all this and got us back to where we were at this point last year. Coach, how quickly does the the celebration of this victory end and and the preparation for what comes ahead start? You know, is, how do you balance that here? Yeah, you know, I just talked to them about hey, you know, it's. It, we, we're going to enjoy it, but, um, you know, Monday's business and, uh, practice. We need to be, we need to be focused this week. It's nice. we got a little extra time to, to rest up, but also prepare. And, uh, once we find out who our opponent is tomorrow night, um, then we can start preparing for them and, uh, um, and get ready. Coach, could you talk to how the, what the reaction, how the emotions were on the bench after the Murphy power play goal? I mean, Mueller almost killed her on the ice celebrating, but uh, how was the bench feeling after that one? Yeah, they were they were all excited for her, and uh, it was a nice goal on the power play, and it was a big goal for us. You know, it got us to three to one, and um, I think got everybody to relax a little bit. So uh, they were super excited. Everybody was 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 pumped for her that she scored, and uh, it was a nice goal. Coach, that, that power play looked particularly good tonight, especially on that, that occasion where, where Maureen was able to score. What did you see out of them? What do you think was going right for that unit tonight? They were moving the puck really well. Um, they were moving it quickly, making good decisions. I would have liked to see a little more traffic in front of the goalie. I felt like we were, we were getting looks because we were moving the puck well, but, um, you know, she was seeing a lot of the shots. So, um, all of the, it was, Movement was good. A lot of good things. Um, we can be a little bit better there. Coach, you know, we saw in the celebrations, they got you with the cooler yet again. Uh, uh, what's the, what's the damage looking like this year? Uh, I had ice in my pockets and, um, I can't believe I fell for it. I was like, oh, they're not going to, they're not going to do it this year. And, uh, they, they baited me. They handed me the trophy, distracted me. And, uh, I can't believe I fell for it and they got me. So uh, <laughs> luckily my jacket is slightly waterproof. So that wasn't so bad, but uh, um, the, the lower half's soaking wet. So are you going to invest in more waterproof clothing for coming years? Is what you're saying? Yeah, I might, I might have to find some like uh, really good waterproof pants um, that, <laughs> that look nice. I have to do my homework. Good problems to have. Exactly. Any more questions for coach? Um, one quick question, I guess. So for the Cavs, uh, Franklin made a great case with the turn MVP. What do you think her chances are going into uh, the, the vote next week? Yeah, you know, I think she's got as good a chance as any. Sometimes I think goalies get snubbed a little bit sometimes. Um, but, you know, you can't can't deny the numbers. Um, but, you know, also you look at Alina and Sky and their numbers are through the roof too. So. Um, you know, we got three really good candidates for the first time ever, and uh, it's going to be interesting to see how it all plays out. Okay, I just wanted to ask because her numbers were calculated to be better than Debian's in the year she won. I think Who do quite, you think? I think quite a bit better. Uh, a yeah. couple percentage points on the saves and the goals allowed. 
Yeah, I mean, I, I don't know after tonight what her save percentage was, but going into the game, it was 0.972. So, you know, it got her, to six nine six nine, and a goal is against of six nine eight. Yeah, so you know, I don't think people realize. So, like every hundred shots that go at her, three go in. Right. So it's pretty amazing. So I guess who are you going to put as your number one if you had to pick? Of your three players? Uh, I don't know who. <laughs> okay. Congratulations, Aaron, on another uh, another win here. You know, it seemed like you and the seniors got a little bit of extra celebration on the ice here, kind of cementing that undefeated run here in, in hockey's playoffs for the past four years. What did it feel like as a as a collective as a collective group with those players after the game? Um. Yeah, it's really fun for us. Obviously, we we don't really know what it feels like to lose in the hockey tournament, but we've lost a lot of other big games and. Um, I think just has unified us as a class and we're so proud of one another coming in here and winning freshman year like like it was yesterday it feels like winning the first program um, hockey championship and I think just since then we've cherished that feeling so much and I think that's part of the reason why we've been able to do it four years in a row and um, credit to our coaching staff because um, they are a huge part of why we've been so successful in the postseason but yeah like you said our class been having a pretty special run. Aaron, uh, what was your reaction to seeing that Murphy goal go in in the second period? I was so excited for her, as everyone else was. I mean, she's been one of my best friends um, all throughout high school, and um, it was so exciting for me to hear that she made the decision to come to Northeastern, and um, it's amazing that we can have her. She's just a huge piece to the puzzle that we have, and we have so many talented players on our team, and just adding her to the mix is huge for us. And she's such an amazing person, not not only a great hockey player, but a great person. She brings so much to the table here. So just seeing her get that rewarding goal, especially against a team that she just came from and has played on before, I think just kind of speaks measures to her and her work ethic, and she left it all out there. Aaron, you know, this is the second year in a row that, that you guys have looked poised for a really deep NCAAs run, not just a hockey East run, but that NCAAs run. Does it give you any extra motivation having to look back on last year, not getting to play those games, but this year now you'll, you'll get the chance to actually go through them? Yeah, definitely. I mean, we're all super just motivated and fueled having that opportunity um, taken from us. And I know it's something a lot of teams had to go through. So I think everyone has that competitive edge on their shoulder this year, knowing that um, they were denied the, the opportunity to play um, last year. So yes, I think we have that in the back of our head and kind of that feeling in the bittersweet um, of the hockey championship, but then not being able to compete for the national title. So I think we're all super motivated and we're ready to go and we'll celebrate tonight, but we're going to get focused on our opponent tomorrow when we find out and get ready for the tournament. Um, I was just talking to coach Flint about this, but, uh, so we had your numbers run for your season as they, you did better than Debian and her Patty Kaz here in both save percentage and goals allowed. What, what what would you like to say about your Cavs candidacy as a result of that? Um, I mean, it's it's obviously nice to hear that the numbers are good, but um, any any day we get the win is just huge for me. And I think um, it showed tonight with how dominant our victory was that we just have such a competitive group. And I think how they come out every night and battle for me um, contributes to my numbers being as good as they are because they want me to do so well. And I have so many players fighting for me every night. They want to shut out every night, which obviously we can't have, but um, they're by my side and um, they help me so much. So the numbers are great, but I, I kind of see it as more of a team achievement than an individual one, but that's pretty cool. And it felt like uh, the Providence skaters had a pretty quick trigger finger tonight with the puck. What did you see out of their, their offense from your end? Yeah, I think they were trying to throw a lot of pucks to the net. Um, I think a lot of teams try to do that to us. We saw it with New Hampshire, um, just from all angles, trying to get the pucks through. And um, it works sometimes. They they were crashing the net hard. And um, we were we were trying to adjust to that. And I know my D were trying to keep them out of the crease and stuff. But they have some pretty gritty forwards. So I think they were trying to find a loose puck and bang it home. And uh, I think they, they did a good job with that. And I think that's a good strategy that they have. Um, 
just throwing a lot of pucks to the net and trying to get bodies there. And that's something that we're constantly working on defending. And I think we do a pretty good job of it, but it's tough. I mean, not every team does that, but um, when, when the forwards are coming hard to the crease, it's pretty nerve wracking. So credit to them for, for generating a lot of opportunities tonight. But I think we did a good job for the most part holding them off.